three pages. What? <laughs> That's crazy. This is this is not normal. It's crazy. It's wild. Oh, look at babe. We're wearing merch. She's wearing merch. Oh. I'm wearing merch. I'm a, I'm wah, wah, wah. <laughs> but, but, Oops. But, but you're not. <laughs> I blew it. <laughs> not you as much as I blew it last night <laughs> when we went to go make Pico on a live stream on the new page and had no limes. No limons. No limons. No <laughs> limes. But we're back. We are back. Guess who's back? Me. From outer space. <laughs> That'd be her. <laughs> I love outer space. Hey, Dad. <laughs> um, Just be careful. Remember, you're on the stool tonight. Can, can, can you put the booster on here? The booster? Yeah. Mm, Just that. Your one. outer space booster? Yeah. Okay, lift. Yeah. Lift the butt. There we go. And okay, now you really got to be careful. Yeah. Okay. So. Tonight we We're have be making pico. limes. We have the limes. So we're going to make our pico. And Anna's going to help. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be helping by doing a little bit of the cutting. Because it's. Right? What, what is uh, <laughs> <laughs> Very sweet, but no. <laughs> Not the cutting. I'll do the cutting and then you can take the pieces and put them in here. Okay. Or And then you can help Aaron pluck the cilantro off of the stems if you'd like. Yes. Yes, we're gonna. So I'm we're gonna. I'm just gonna put this here, so that way it's easy for me to put pieces of tomato. Yeah. So last night, right, Hillary? We we were going to make pico on the new um, page. If you guys haven't gone over to the new page yet, it's called Princess Anna's A Team, and it's kind of like behind the scenes things from mine and Aaron's point of view, parenting Anna, like adult stuff. It's more of an adult vibe over there, and um, we were gonna make pico and chit chat, but then. I realized we didn't have any limes, so we couldn't make pico. Yes, we've got the limes tonight, Jacqueline. <laughs> um, but we did end up having a really nice chat with everybody. We were on for yeah. like an hour and a half, and we talked about how we met and our whole like history of getting together. And um, what else did we talk about? We talked about quite a few things. So it ended up being a really nice live stream, even though we didn't make pico. But we're back tonight to make the pico. And then after we finish making pico, we are going to, what are we going to do? What are we gonna do? Cause it's Friday night, and it's, and we're gonna stay up late. We're gonna do what? Movie night. Movie night, and we're gonna watch what? The second episode of Harry Potter. And, and what are we gonna do while we're watching the movie? Put up the Christmas tree. We're gonna finally <laughs> put up the Christmas tree. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Let's put the lights out. Well, Rena, don't feel left out. You can go back and watch the live streams at any time. You can replay them anytime. They after we're done going live, they become regular videos. And you can watch them back. So all you got to do is go over to the new page, Princess Anna's A-Team. And you can watch that live stream back and hear our meat story. What do you call that when you meet some? I don't even know what you call that. Our, our origin story. Our <laughs> origin story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tomato. <laughs> all right. So how is everybody doing tonight? It's Friday. Are you all excited for the weekend? I am. Can't wait to see all the homemade ornaments. So the homemade ornaments are going to go on our smaller real tree that we probably won't get for a week, maybe a little bit, maybe like de December 1st. And um, we have to do more of those. We should be working on ornaments right now. So Pico, honestly, we've got a lot of ornaments left to make for that tree. <laughs> we got a lot of work left. Chrissy says, I'm doing good. Cool. All right, so you've got cilantro duty. Yep. I'm going to do tomato duty. What kind of tomatoes are those? They're oval. These are Roma tomatoes. And Roma tomatoes, so here's a regular, uh, like a vine tomato, like you probably are used to. You slice these when, this one's a little ripe, so it's squishy. But when they're a little more firm, you put it, slice them into slices and you put them on sandwiches and stuff. These are Roma tomatoes, and these don't have as much juice and gook inside. They're more flesh, and so they're perfect for pico because I don't use the insides of the tomatoes for pico because it makes it too runny. Um, so I just cut them like this. I cut the ends off of the Roma tomato, and then I cut them down the center. And you can see how juices don't run out of these when you cut them. It's all fleshy. And so I just take like the little bits of juices and seeds out and then I cut the flesh up into dices and put it in 
for the. Uh, ow, ow. Did Aaron get the scissors for the cilantro? We did not. We did not get cilantro scissors. That, that, that's a good idea, though. It is a good idea. <laughs> I think they told us about it before. And yes. We forgot about it. We just like to make things hard for ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron likes to do things the hard way. <laughs> That way it feels like good hard work. Yeah, more of an accomplishment. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm gonna, you got to stay back, okay? I'm gonna, um, yep, I'm going to dice them up and put them right here. And then you're going to pick them up and put them in the container, is that right? Yeah. Is that what you're going to do? Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be super helpful. Just cut them out. Um, if you guys haven't been on the page tonight, if this is your first time popping on, I posted a couple things. I posted a throwback video of Anna singing when she was two and a half. That's super cute. She went through like a few different songs in the video. And then I just posted like 15 minutes ago. Can you move around, please? Uh, sorry, baby. A video of her talking about the book that she read for history today. So... Susan wants to know, Anna, are you a mommy's girl or an Aaron's girl? No, uh, both. Both. <laughs> Very diplomatic answer. <laughs> what is diplomatic? Um, it means that it is amicable to everyone in the situation. Like you made everybody happy. And I think I need a little bit of help by, by someone else to grab a little bit of hand for this for me. Well, do your best, and if it if you, if you get tired of doing that, you can always help Aaron pluck cilantro instead. Shirley says, "I watched her singing; it was so cute." <laughs> Good answer, Anna said. Jody, <laughs> she's got to be fair to everyone. I want to huh? like slide these onto. Yeah, but we can't do that because because it's not the same level. Is, is there you just like gotta, a ramp? You just gotta move? figure out a good way. Can you pick them up like this at all? Can you can I you claw can't. can you claw grab them? Like I can, but I can only pick up like two. Oh, okay. Pretend like you're a claw machine. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving your blended family. Thank you. Is it Chalet? Is that how you say your name? That's beautiful. Chile. I like everything but cilantro. Yeah, cilantro is one of those things. Um, I mean, let's do it, guys. Let's do the poll. Cilantro, yay or nay? Because it's one of those things. There's like a huge, diverse uh, disagreement. Like does, either does it does it taste like soap or does it <laughs> or does it taste like cardboard or does it taste like fruit or something? Yeah, either you're all for it or you're completely against it. Don't like it either. Yeah, it's funny. It's just one of those things. And it's 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 genetic. If you didn't know that, it it has to do with your genes, if you like it or not. It determines how it tastes to you, I guess. I think I need another booster. You need another booster. We don't have another booster. Where's where's that You're gray sliding. one? You're sliding. You're gonna slide forward. Where, where's that gray one? Oh, it's underneath the uh, microphone in the voiceover space because okay. I was using it to record. Because I found out last night when I was doing my demo recordings that I guess the microphone needs to be like up here when you're recording in order to get rid of certain sounds. So we had to boost our our microphone up when I was doing my recordings. It's interesting. Can, can you go get it for me real quick, Karen? Oh, yeah. We played some of my recordings on that live stream last night on the other page as well. Some of my, my demo Aaron. recordings that I did. You're going to help Aaron? Yeah. Okay, that's okay, fine. It's easier. I don't mind. You can help Aaron. He needs a lot of help. He's got a lot of cilantro going on over there. Yeah. Yeah. Here, you want to wipe your hands? Yeah. I can wipe my hands in. What does Anna's t-shirt say? Brenda would like to know what your shirt says. My shirt says, can you lift me up? No, but tell him. It says, either I will find a way or I will make one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's one of the Arthur Graposis Awareness shirts we made this year for AMC Awareness Month. And then Mommy's shirt says. Mine says. Delete the what ifs. Delete the what ifs. And it's you can get one. You can get a delete the what ifs shirt in our new merch store that opened up yesterday. 
you go to our website, amcprincessanna.com, and click on the shop button in the menu, you can go check out what we have available. What do we have available in the store now, Anna? Stuff. We've got shirts, hoodies, t-shirts, hoodies, long aprons. sleeve shirts, aprons. 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 What else? Drink mugs. Mugs, water bottles, backpacks, uh, tote bags. I'll just give you a little bit. All kinds of stuff. Your shirt shipped already today, Susan? That's amazing. Nice. I love it. I love it. Everything's going to be so much faster and nicer now. Mm -hmm. I'm trying. Get a purse for a booster. I missed that. Calendars, please. We can't do calendars. Um, we asked. We did ask for you guys because people were asking about calendars. But it's just not a product that's available to us right now. Yeah. Sorry about that. We will keep it in mind, though, for the future. <clears throat> you just pull it off. Did you show her how to how to pick them or slide them? She might need a, I an, just, I, a tutorial. I, 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 I already did one. Did you? I went on the website and did not see the shirts. Did you click on the menu and, and go into all of the um, collections are sorted by quote? So you have to open the menu, um, which it tells you how to do that on the page, and then click on the quote that you want. So if you want to see delete the what if shirts, you click on delete the what ifs on the menu. You want to see kind people do beautiful things shirts, you click on kind people dot, dot, dot in the menu. Are you all going to be doing a preparation video for Thanksgiving? Um, I'm not sure, Jennifer. I, we don't even know what we're doing for Thanksgiving yet, to be quite honest with you. Aaron and I haven't sat down and figured it out. I know we were talking about not doing quite a big holiday thing maybe this Thanksgiving because we were going to do a big thing for Christmas and we didn't want to indulge during both holidays. No, but I wanted my gray one that's that black one. We haven't really sat down and talked about it again. What is he getting? He got the black one. He went in the oh, he's getting one. he's getting the tall one. Mm -mm, the gray one. But he has to move the microphone to do that. What is he? What do you what are you getting, baby? Oh, <laughs> Aaron's worried about her sitting on the stool, so he's putting the bean chair behind her. How sweet is that? He's like, in case you fall, I want to make sure you're protected. What a sweetheart. <laughs> now fall right in, I'll pop right into the bean chair. Pop right into the bean chair. He loves you. So cute. So you're just not high enough, huh? You having trouble because you're not tall enough? Yeah. You gotta make you taller. You gotta make you gotta make me the tallest as I can possibly be. Hello in Scotland, Jane. Thank you for tuning Scotland. in all the way from Scotland. All the way from Scotland. Oh look, he got it for you. Um, if you hand Thank me you. a paper towel, I can help. I gotta wipe my hand off real quick. Here, Thank you. Okay, you ready? Yeah. We're going to replace this one, though. We're not going to use two because that's dangerous. There you go. Thank you. Is that better? Yeah, can you scoot me in a little bit? Mm -hmm. Thank you. <clears throat> there you go. Andy's got your crash pad ready to go. <laughs> it's very sweet, baby. Better than nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You guys look great in your merch. And me not in my And Aaron not in We I just. Feel, oh, I feel like I gotta leave and put it. Put my, go I'm, change. Go put your yeah, merch shirt on so you that. fit in. Yeah. Um, we just ordered some of our I'm own merch that. today I... because. <laughs> because we wanna try out some of the new products. So we went on the store today and ordered like a handful of stuff for the three of us so we could, we could see how it fits and how it feels and, you know, all that good stuff. Oh, now she looks good. tall. Yeah. I am tall. You are tall. I'm so excited. I love Pico. We make a big batch of Pico like every week or two. Aaron is an amazing accent to the family. Aaron, Aaron is a great addition. Absolutely. That was a that was a wonderful executive decision on my part. <laughs> Uh, crack myself up. Apparently. You didn't find it funny, huh? 
Time what time? <laughs> I said, I said, Aaron was a great addition to the family. I said that was a wonderful executive decision on my part. <laughs> that, that is funny. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh. You love Pico too? It's great. It's so good. It's the best. It's fresh and vibrant and I mean if you make them from homemade, it's it's more of the best. Yeah, you like it better from homemade? Yeah. That's great. What makes it more of the best if it's homemade? Hmm? What makes it more of the best if it's homemade? Why is it coming? It's a string. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's it's just a string. Are we, are we okay? Is everything okay? Yep. We got I'm tripping. I'm thirsty. We got tripping. I'm thirsty. <laughs> Your shirt down. <laughs> like a quick quick change of shirts all disheveled. <laughs> oh gosh, Teresa says homemade is better. Stephanie, we're hilarious. It's 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 becoming a pretty hilarious night indeed. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. So what makes what makes homemade better? I'm curious. I mean, what? Because this thing just fell off. Is it because it just fell off? I genuinely want to know why you think that. I mean, if it's homemade, you can you can add like some, some sometimes if it's like just out in public, they add like less tomatoes if you want more. You you can make it however you want. Yes, that's very true. Good point. Very good point. There. Look, Love look, it. guys, Aaron. <laughs> oh, yeah, Aaron's got uh oh. Uh oh, we're blurry. Uh -oh. Oh, I'm ah. ruining it. Ah. There we go. All right, we got delete the what ifs available in the merch store. Kind people do beautiful things <laughs> available in the merch store. This and one is I will not. Find a way, or I'll make one. That's that's an it's older just shirt. A thing. <laughs> it's just a thing. It's just a thing. <laughs> okay, can I go back to the tomatoes now? You want to go back to the tomatoes now? Yeah. You're gonna go back and forth, 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 back and forth. Here you go, Aaron. It's Thank fresher. You. There's no preservatives. <gasps> Someone else has hoodie and shirt shipped already today. Woohoo, Bonnie! Sweet. Yay! That's exciting, you guys. It's only taking, what, two days for the, your orders to get out to you? That's awesome. Pretty cool, huh? I hope they ship pretty fast, too. You guys will have to, like, share some photos with us somehow when you get them. We can see tomato. you wearing them. Can I see the tomato thing? Yeah. So I can put them in for you. Okay, just be careful. Don't pull it too close to the edge because we don't want it to fall. Okay. Two days, yeah, that's awesome. That's that's an amazing difference from when we were working with Custom Ink, huh? Okay. Everybody had to wait on everyone's order to be in before the sale closed up and things went to print. Now it prints on demand as soon as you place the order. What are Anna's three favorite colors? Stephanie would like to know what your three favorite colors are. Pink, blue, and purple. I know, pretty straightforward. That's a lot of cilantro. Yeah, well, we're making a giant batch of pico. What? <laughs> we're making a giant. Here, baby. You going to put that in there for me? Can you scoot this the chalkboard a little bit forward? Like that? Yeah, like the, the chalkboard. The chalkboard? The cutting board? Yeah. That's weird. What are you guys making, Lisa? We're making pico. Pico. Pico de gallo. Tomatoes, onions, cilantro, lime, salt, pepper, and serrano peppers which are just a little bit of pepper they're pretty mild as far as peppers go they're not even as spicy as jalapenos how do you order where do you go anna suzanne wants to know how to get some merch go <laughs> go. Go, go, go 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 where go to the website what's the website www.ansimintosan.com <laughs> and go to the shop she turns everything into a jingle so amcprincessanna.com. Like if you Google AMC Princess Anna, the website will come right up. And then you go in the menu, you click on the shop button. That's where you go. And I'm then when you it. when you get to the merch store, there's another menu. So if you're on your laptop, you'll see the menu on the left side of the screen. But if you're on your phone, you have to actually click on the menu to open it. 
It's in the upper left corner. The three lines. The three lines. Click on the three lines, open up the menu, and then you'll see all the different things. This isn't live. Yes, it is, Mary. We are live right now. You caught us live. Lucky you. <laughs> I don't know how it works on YouTube, over on YouTube, but on Facebook, you can see the red button in the corner that says live. And if you're on a video and that's supposed to be live and you don't see that button, that means it's not live anymore and you're just watching a video. Because some people will get on our live streams after the fact. <laughs> like two days afterwards. Like two days later or like the next day. And, and they're, they're following the live. They're watching it back, right? And they're commenting. And then they get really upset with us because we're not responding. And it's like, but, but, we're, but we're not there. <laughs> How do we... like, fine, you're not answering. I'm just going to go. Yeah, they're like, fine, you're ignoring me. I'm leaving. It's like, because, because you're me... talking to the past. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't go back in time and talk to you. I wish I could. You're, you're, you're just talking to, to a live stream, not, not to a person. Talking to a video. Lisa wants to know what you want for Christmas. Mm -hmm. mm. Any Any asks? Any ideas? She hasn't asked for anything from us so far. Do you have anything you want? A giraffe. You want a giraffe for Christmas? Mm -hmm. A real life one? Yes. You already have a giant tall giraffe at home in Ann Arbor. Yeah. Um, you, a real one. A real one. You do know that's impossible, right? You do know that's illegal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we would get in trouble for that. We'd have to cut a hole in the ceiling of the house. I don't think the landlords would like that very much. I don't do, think they do so well with the ceiling fans either. He would eat your palm tree. Then you wouldn't have palmy in the morning anymore when you wake up. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what giraffes do. Oh gosh. That's true. You ready? You want some more? <laughs> yeah, I might eat some more. <laughs> Are you following a special diet? Um, Anna is not, clearly. But Aaron and I try to do our best to eliminate pretty much most sugar and a lot of carbs. carbs yeah. um, because it works better for my body because it helps my body drop weight. And it works better for his body because it keeps his blood sugar down to a reasonable level. Yep. Yep. Did you fart? Yep. <laughs> Jenny says, I also want a giraffe for Christmas. I want a giraffe for Christmas. <laughs> Only a giraffe will do. I'm dizzy and my hands are getting messy. Getting tomato -y. I ordered a sweatshirt. I can hardly wait to get it. Thank you, nice, buddy. Thanks. Thank you guys for ordering. Yeah. Thank you so much. Are you on keto? It's like a dirty keto. It's like <laughs> it's like a half version of keto. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> It's like we keto, you know, as as well as we can, but we don't hold ourselves to it strictly. So, do you want keto for Christmas? Do <laughs> I want keto for Christmas? <laughs> I want a I want a, a cheat day for Christmas. A cheat day? Yeah, where mm. we can not be keto. Where I can have egg, eggnog. Eggnog. Mm. Yeah. Do you guys like eggnog? I love it. Aaron likes it. I'm not a fan. I haven't tried it. You haven't tried it? Mm -mm. Yep. Christmas treats. What are what are your favorite Christmas treats? Tell me like what you guys get only at Christmas time. Some kind of food or candy or whatever. Like drinks. If it's drinks, it could be drinks. We we don't drink anymore, but I just want to hear what you guys like for Christmas. Food. A hippopotamus for Christmas. <laughs> hippopotamus <laughs> for food? I don't know about you, but we don't go around eating hippos. You're a hippo. Oh, <gasps> wow. that's not nice. Rude. You, that's not nice. You, you, you are the hippo. You're rude. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think she attaches that connotation to it. I like how she's the one getting offended. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. Didn't mean anything. <laughs> I have no idea. What you're Eggnog. Talking. Okay, let's see. Flanagan's fancies. <gasps> what are those? Buckeyes, fondue, mm. peanut butter fudge, fruit cake, Christmas fudge, sea foam, eggnog, What's sea blue foam? spruce. We're gonna have to go back and look at this stuff because I don't yeah. know what half this stuff is. 
okra roll-ups and meatball splashes. Well, that sounds good, whatever that is. Praline candy Chex Mix. Oh like, my like, gosh, like, you guys. Like, like Muddy Buddies or just like Chex Mix? This is awesome. Chex Mix. Thank you for sharing. Chex Mix. Ice, did you say Icebox Fruitcake? Pavlava? Pecan tarts. Mm, I would love those. Aaron wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I love pecans. Rocky Road fudge. I'm trying to keep you from falling. What do you mean? Stop it. Can oh. you scoot your bum over into the center of the cushion, please? Thank yeah. you. Okay. Rice aroni. Rice aroni. The San Francisco tree. Pecan cookies. Fudge. Can, can you do the rest of this? Peanut brittle. Can, can mm. you do the rest of the tomatoes? Yeah, I can. I'm like Aaron. I love sweets. Yeah, Aaron has a big sweet tooth. I'm more of a salt person. I, I have you like it all. What is Anna doing? Well, she was putting tomatoes into the yeah. container for me, but now she's going to take a break from that. Yeah, my, my Homemade apple mean. pie and Mississippi mud cake. Ooh. <laughs> I like lava oh, cake. Guys. Oh, yeah. Anna likes lava cake. I like that you can do that. Eggnog donuts. What? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, just, you just put Aaron into a diabetic coma just mentioning that. He just ate three of them in his mind. <laughs> He's going to sleep like a baby tonight. Italian cookies, peppermint bark. Where are we from? Um, well, I'm, we, Anna and I are from Ann Arbor, Michigan, and Aaron is from the Bay Area in California. And now we live here in Florida temporarily. Just, just, just for my medical care, because there's, there's no one who can treat me properly like, 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 like. Like, like Dr. Feldman can down here in Michigan. So that's why we always have to travel a long distance down to Florida to get to medical care. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right, baby. Is that all Chavez. tomatoes? Is that all those tomatoes? No, me? I have two more tomatoes to do, and then I'm going to start working on onions. Can I do some onions? You want, you want Crane to says, yay, Bay Area. Yay, area. <laughs> yeah, area, area, area. Pumpkin pie ice cream. Ooh. Pumpkin pie ice cream. I'll try that. that sounds good. What are you making? Like We're that. making pico. Where my guy? Pico. pico, pico de gallo. Pico. Cause it tastes good in your mouth, and I don't know any more words right now. Pico, <laughs> pico de gallo. <laughs> Sorry. I just had a fit. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that happens to me sometimes. Two more tomatoes. Too much what? I said two more tomatoes. <laughs> oh, two more tomatoes. <laughs> Tomato, cilantro, <laughs> onions, and serranos. <laughs> I love it when he chimes in. <laughs> Are you using limes or lemons? Limes. We got limes. limes. We got the, only the limes. Way to go. Only Aaron, way to go. Aaron went and picked up an order from Target. We got limes. So. Now let's turn it and then cut it again. Love Frisco, but boy, is it crazy these days. I, I don't recognize. I was born in San Francisco. I don't recognize it anymore. Mm. It's, it's really sad to me. I mean, I guess the, the, the place where I grew up is the, is the same. It's, I mean, a lot happens in 40 years, right? Well, I mean, in San Francisco's case, it was just a whole bunch of people from out of town with a whole bunch of money moved in and changed all the shops and changed the neighborhoods. So it just doesn't have the same flavor anymore. Yeah. And well, then, they, then they moved away. <laughs> when COVID oh. happened, they all moved away, so now it's just like nothing. Well, and where I grew up, it was more a case of people had money, and then um, the auto industry, you know, changed drastically, and and now they don't have as much, and so the whole one more scene tomato has changed over time. One more tomato, guys. One more tomato. Bucket. This this is the bucket that we're putting all the diced tomatoes. Gentrification. In. Yep. yep, that's right, Vicky. It's happening. It's happening. 
Nice face, Anna. You're silly. Julianne says you're silly. <laughs> it happened in a lot of towns and cities. Of course, yeah, because, you know, things things change over time. That's just the way it is. The thing I thought was so cool about San Francisco is that each neighborhood kind of felt like a little city all into itself and had its own flavor. Mm -hmm. And now it's just totally homogenized. Really? Yeah. That is sad because that's one thing I love about Ann Arbor is that the, there are differences between like the different neighborhoods mm -hmm. and, you know, it's all the houses are different and the vibes are different and you've got the student areas and you've got the residential areas, you've got the business districts and, and it's all contained within like a five mile radius. It's, it's cool. very quaint. <laughs> Are you bored? No. Do you need something to do? Yeah, this one's just yeah. too sloppy. I'm not going to add this one to the pico because it's yeah, just it's just soup. It's bleh. Because we need soup. It's just soup. Okay, so it's now like... it's soup. time to cut the onion. Now you better watch I'm gonna, out. Yeah. I'm going to make you cry. <laughs> you're going to say, "Why am I crying?" <laughs> I'm going to make you cry if you're too close. Why? Move that over there because when you cut into onions, they release juices. And gases. And gases. And when that stuff gets near your eyeballs, it irritates them and it makes you cry. Yeah. So I'm going to move more this way, okay? Okay. And you stay there and stay safe. Okay. Thank you, Corey. Thank you for the, um, Dr. Lee showed you guys. We still have to post the video of Anna with Dr. Lee. We have to do that. I was waiting for Dr. Lee and his wife to get the merch. We had an issue with our last merch run and it took forever, but I think they should have it by now. So I need to edit that this weekend and post it next week. Remind me, right. Dr. Lee video. Dr. We've got to get video. that up. He's a cool dude. We when like will Anna's wish come true? Are you talking about her? Oh, you're talking about that. I thought you were talking about her Christmas wish for a real giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> Um, they say put a wet cloth where you're cutting onions it really works. You know, Tammy, I, I've read that. I didn't know if it really worked, but I've read it. I just figured it was one of those weird, like, wives' tale things, right? But I actually have, the last few onions I've cut haven't bothered me, yeah. weirdly. Well, now that you said it, you jinxed it, and <laughs> this is time when we're going to get I, gassed. I, I hope not. I hope not. All right, I'll cut you guys chat. All right. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Yes, thank you. Thank you for that. The, the those are YouTube. Um, it's kind of like Facebook stars, but it's on YouTube. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we thank don't. Thank you. We don't get a lot of those. Thank you so much. Yeah. Danielle says she'd like a real giraffe too. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I mean, I, I I do love giraffes and zebras, so <laughs> giraffe would be my plan. 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 Oh, oh plan. No plan. Susan says that uh, you should use swim goggles. <laughs> that actually sounds like it might work. It, oh, it probably. <laughs> I'm sure it would work. I'm sure it would. And then, and then it can lean really close. Yeah, then you can get your face right uh, in there. Someone's uh, Deborah says put it in cold water while you're cutting it. Huh. That has got tricks, right? There's all kinds of tricks. Excuse me. Drink some water. I'm thirsty. Oh. I peel and cut on top of it. Oh, that's this cold water trick again. Yeah. Callie wants a horse. Mm. I want. I used to want a horse when I was little. The whole time growing up, I wanted a horse. I wanted you know to be, how to, you know how to ride. Horses. I know how to ride, and yeah. that's the thing. I wanted to be able to go out back and grab my horse and go for a ride. That's cool. But you know, like sometimes how you um, you find out later in life, like things about your parents that you never knew, and it's just like, whoa, I, I never knew that. My dad is like really good at riding horses. <laughs> and I was like, how did you learn how to ride horses? And every summer, he and his friend, his friends had the horses and. He would go hang out with them, and they'd go riding every day. And That's so, so cool. Up through high school, he was he would ride horses all through the summer. Yeah. So he could 
theoretically hop on a horse and just ride away with it. Yeah, that's what I did. I went to Girl Scout <laughs> camp every summer and I learned how to ride and I learned how to take care of the horses and I loved it. It was my happy place. <laughs> but we were never able to get a horse. You had the, but you have the space for it. We did have the space for it, but my parents said it was like too expensive, the to caretaking, the vet bills and yeah. a lot of upkeep and there were five kids in my family, so they were busy. Yeah. <laughs> they were busy with kids. They didn't need horses. To Callie says she wants a pet dolphin. <laughs> a pet dolphin? You need a pool for that one, yeah. a saltwater pool. A big one. <laughs> Speaking of sea animals. Yes. I want a killer whale. You want a killer whale? Mm -hmm. Where are we going to put that? In the pool? In the pool? We'd need an Olympic oh, size pool. Yikes. And you wouldn't be able to swim with it because it's a killer whale. It'll swim by itself. <laughs> then it'll, it'll, haven't you seen that movie Blackfish? Yeah. <laughs> It'd be very unhappy. Yeah. And it'll turn on everybody. And yeah. Just nobody, nobody Whales don't want to live in pools. They want to live in the ocean where they have all the space to go swimming. And they have their family and their friends. Maybe, 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 maybe I can get a killer whale with, with all their family, and then I can, and I can put a, 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 a dolphin there with it. So we'll just invite them all. We'll just bring them all, the whole, all the sea creatures, yeah. and that way, it, not Stephanie's the, free willy. The, the, the only, the only ones we're not putting in the pool are stingrays. Wouldn't it be easier to just go build you a house out in the middle of the ocean, and then you could just live with them where Watch they live? Them. Yeah. <laughs> right, we'll, we'll we'll put we'll put like a like a, a like a like a bounce house. <laughs> a bounce, bounce house in the water. <laughs> in the middle You're of like, the Whoa. ocean. <laughs> no, and, I, and I would just sit in it. This is fantastic though, because I used to have grandiose ideas like this when I was little too. When I was little, I wanted a couple of things I remember. First of all, Three things. One, I wanted a salad bar in my kitchen. <laughs> I wanted an island in the middle of my kitchen with a salad bar, like the kind you go to the restaurant. Like at Sizzler. Yeah, and you just <laughs> make your own salad. I wanted that in my kitchen all the time. Of course, with a chef that was going to replenish it, right? I wanted the window in our kitchen to be a drive-through window for like Taco Bell and McDonald's. <laughs> so, but you wouldn't actually drive through. It's more like they were outside the window, oh. and I would just walk up in my house and get what I wanted. Oh, I thought you'd be outside. You'd walk no. up, and Mom would be there, and she would just No, no, no. I wanted the company to be outside my window so I could walk up in <laughs> my kitchen reverse, and get whatever I wanted whenever I wanted it. And then <laughs> the no, last it should, thing. It should, it, should, it should actually, if, 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 how, would, would, would the chef part be like the, would that part be the part where they cook, or what? Or if if you were in the kitchen, then wouldn't you be like the chef, and they would be picking up? No, because it'd be like McDonald's drive-through window was right up next to my kitchen window, so I'd open my kitchen window <laughs> and be it's like, right. "I'd like a happy meal, please," and then I'd take it into my kitchen and eat it. <laughs> and then the last thing I wanted, because I lived, I grew up in Michigan, right? Cold, snow, winter. I ha used to like fantasize that it would snow so much that it would cover the house because we had like a big two two story house, and we would have to dig tunnels to go up out of the doors to the surface of the snow. And when you're coming back in from the store, you could slide down into your door, but at the surface, everything was like a big ice skating rink. So you would oh. go up and you would ice skate to the store, and you would slide down <laughs> into the store and get what you need. Yeah. Michael said. For Halloween, did did we make Pico Boo? Pico Boo. Pico Boo. Pico Boo. Pico Boo. Do we make Pico Boo? Hmm. So anyway, those are my. What about you? Did you have any like crazy dreams of things when you were a kid? What you wanted? Um, I'm sure I did. What? No, I can't think of anything. Really? Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I don't I can't think of any weird contraptions or Well, Anna wants to live on the ocean in a bounce house. Yeah. I also I have, have a pet killer whale. I have another one. What? I also want to be like you with, with when at, at winter when 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 all when it's like an ice skating pop, you know? And then and then and then and then there would be the tunnels and then there would be like a like 
a, like a like a like a place up on top of the ice skating and like in the middle and and then they, and then it had it had like a it, it was basically like like a tube like a snow tube really yeah and it, and it had like a part where you walk right in uh-huh. and then and then there's this like and then there's this part of the ice skating part uh-huh. that shoots right up and then they shoot out. What? And then, That's and, then, wacky. and then and then and then it turns into a bounce house and bounce and then it bounces <laughs> down. You are infatuated with bounce houses right now, aren't you? <laughs> we actually haven't used the lime part of this before. No. This, this is our first time. All right, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. That. We haven't even used it before, so that makes life so much easier, yeah. you guys. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. It's big and heavy, and it does all the manpower for you. Anyway, what are we all talking about? Let's see what's Bundy says. Side. Sounds like fun, Anna. Yeah. Yeah, I don't understand any of it, but it does sound like fun. <laughs> you don't understand <laughs> any of it? I think we need a spoon, baby. Do we have a spoon? A spoon. To stir we must toss the pico. Well, don't forget the serrano. I know. I, I just wanted to add some some lime juice to it to get it get it get it going. Get it, going. Get it percolating. Ooh. Thank you. Yep. Nice. What do you all eat pico on? Tacos, burritos, tortilla chips. Tortilla. Just, yeah, just dip it and I eat it. You. This is a nice, this is turning out to be a nice batch so yeah. far. See? Look looks, at how beautiful looks, that is. It looks like candy cane colors or Christmas colors. It does. We've got red, green, and white. It's about to look even more like try, Christmas try, try colors. Um, do I'm going to do the peppers first. Pe- I, don't, I don't think I'm, I'm, no, it's small. It's fine. <laughs> Send me some. <laughs> Diana wants to know if you like to play board games, Anna. I do. Wait. Like, what was the last yes. game that we played? Uh, I think the last game that we played would be that cell game. Yes, the cell game. Cytosis? Is that what it's called? Yes, no, we played Quarto. Oh, Quarto? Yeah. The three of us? Oh, what we did. No. Oh. No. Didn't, no, you did. No. no. Didn't No. I thought we you, played Quarto. Yeah. You when I play it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not the last board game. She you oh, asked oh, her. Oh, oh, oh. The last board oh, game yeah, we played. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I get confused. I'm, all, I'm <laughs> getting senile. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. You're not. I love you. This is where things get spicy. Because Anna likes serrano peppers too. Once you put them in the pico, they're not as noticeable. And I pull the the seeds, seeds and everything out of them. So hello. Thank they're not. You. They're not too happy. <laughs> Nana, were you guys able to see the big lunar eclipse in person? We tried. We tried. Yeah. We went outside at 2 a.m. 2.18. We stayed out there till about 2.30-ish. And uh, Aaron heard a mosquito and started <laughs> complaining about going in. And then we found out that it wasn't actually going to be a full, like even a, a partial halfway eclipse until like 4 a.m. Yeah. So we were like, okay, this isn't going to work. I can't do this. And then I got bit by said mosquito. So. Yeah, she didn't believe me, but then she got bit by me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we ended up going in. We didn't get to see it. We tried. We what, tried. what is the eclipse? Uh, the eclipse is when the... Um, the way the alignment is with the planet and the sun and the moon, it gets blocked. And so the moon goes dark, but this one didn't go completely dark. It actually turned red what? instead of, yeah, yeah, it turned red instead of going, well, that's what they said it was going to do. We didn't actually see it. So I don't know if it, it really was, did that or not. It was called the beaver moon. The beaver moon. Those kids are still out I there know. yelling their faces off. It's 10 o'clock. The neighbors They're have little been, kids too. They are little kids. Yeah. They've been out there having a pool party for. Let's be. Some time now. Old. <clears throat> a picture they're all pruny. Pruny and blue lips. And, <laughs> they're all um, pruny and hypothermic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you know southern skeeters are big enough to take a chunk out of you. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What do you what is that? What are you bored? Do? do you need something to do? <laughs> yeah. What do you want to do? Yeah. 
you want to go do something, you don't have to sit here forever if you don't want to. Or we just... Karen and I can chit chat without you. I'll draw. You'll draw? Well, you want to go draw? draw? That's fine. You can go draw. Say bye to everyone before you go. Bye, everybody. Do, 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 do. <laughs> For a minute. For a minute. She'll be back. She always comes back. Woo! Crash pad. Thank goodness for that. I love her silly faces. They can, they can be pretty goofy sometimes, but she does them frequently. Please don't rub your eyes. I won't. Yeah. Don't worry. I won't. I know better. I need to get these seeds out of here, though. The seeds. The seeds. Oh. There we go. The seeds. <clears throat> I went out at 4 a.m. in Philadelphia, and it was red. Wow. Cool, nice. Wendy. That's cool. I would have liked to have seen it, but. I was just too tired. Too tired, yeah. We are we can't stay up that late anymore. I'm a night owl. I know. You are a night owl. You would stay up that late if we let you. Suzanne, we are making pico de gallo. I'll take it. You'll take it? You're going to stay up till 7 a.m. And then, and then you're going to sleep all day the next day. Until 7 p.m. And then you're going to be backwards. Everything's going to be backwards. And you have to wear your clothes backwards. Do your hair backwards. <laughs> you have to walk backwards the whole time you're awake. That's... I, 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 have to, I have to walk like this. I have to walk like this in order to get if I'm going It did to get myself. red so amazing. Yeah, I kind of wish I had seen it, but I'll have to look at pictures. Yeah, I'll just look online. Yeah, it was a very big full moon. It was it's very bright, yeah. Beautiful full moon. Can you read some of the comments? So yeah, I can cut? Uh, let's see. Says, Good night, Kimberly. Says uh, I thought you were going to draw. Okay, but you have to be quiet then because I'm listening to Aaron read the Carol comments. Carol says, you guys seem so happy. I'm glad for all three of you. Thank you. Thank we're, you. We're glad to. We're glad you're here. Um. Uh, Rhonda wants to know what time does um, Anna get up in the mornings? Is she always so happy? I sometimes get up at the, in the morning at like eight something or or six something or five, or, or seven something. Yeah, sometimes I do. And then, and then, and then I like fall never. Yes, sometimes I do. And then I fall asleep and then wake back up. Oh, you fall asleep and wake back up. Yeah, and then it's like nine something, and then yeah. and then. It totally depends. It totally depends on when Anna goes to sleep. Cause, Cause you sleep well. So she used to sleep twelve hours a night, like the whole time from when she was five months old until uh, last year, when she was four. She used to sleep twelve hours a night, and when she was a baby, she would take three naps on top of sleeping twelve hours a night. Then it went down to two naps, and it went down to one nap, and then no naps. <laughs> But now she tends to sleep more like 10 hours a night, 10 or 11. It just depends. So whenever she goes to bed, which, you know, our kind of our, our bedtime, we don't really hold her to it too much, but um, it's like 930. We try to get her, you know, into bed about 930. And so then she usually gets up around 9 a.m. or so the next day. But um, or eight, like she said, sometimes she wakes up early and she'll fall back asleep. Jennifer uh, wants to know if we'll make a cookbook of all our recipes. Everyone yes, keeps asking. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, Everyone keeps this asking. This one doesn't for, like to yes, do measurements. This one just like yes, feels yes, with the force. Yeah, people oh. are like, people are like, what's the rest, Anna? Please, yes, yes, you're being yes. rude, babe. People are like, what's the recipe? Like they'll see something I made and they're like, what's the recipe? And I'm like, I. I I don't, I don't a handful have, of this, a sprinkle of that. Yeah, I don't have a recipe. I don't know because I don't have a recipe. I just threw it together. So I, a lot of people want us to do that, but I don't really know how to do that. 
what are the peppers called? They're called serrano peppers. They're mild. They're mild peppers. Kim says she's going to make orange slice Coke for Christmas. Orange slice Coke. I wonder what that is. I see you. Are you are you going to draw or do you need to go get ready for bed? You're going to play where? Do you still want to watch a movie and put up the tree? Okay, well, then I need you to pick what you're going to do and go do it um, eat quietly. So either come sit with us and chat or go draw at your desk or you can go play quietly in your room if you don't drag a bunch of stuff out. What's it going to be? Or if you're getting sleepy, you can get ready for bed. You'd like to draw? Okay, then I need you to get up off the floor, go sit down at your desk or stand at your desk and do your drawing. No, babe. You're going to go over to the footstool and get yourself up. Thank you. I used to do... Oh, Marilyn's is cake, not Coke. See, I, I'm, I need new glasses. <laughs> you just got those. Dana put her tree up. <gasps> I'm jealous. <laughs> I hope we get ours up tonight. At least the tree and eat. tomorrow we can do the lights. No, today we can do tree and oh, That looks great. Yeah, it's really pretty. Okay. I'm going to put in a little more lime juice and then where's the salt and pepper? Babe? If you want to add some, at, so at least a little bit of salt to pull the, pull the flavor out. What brand of knife are you using? It is a Faberware. Faberware knife. I love the way it cuts. Okay, do some salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. My mom makes a yummy jello cake, eh, Wendy? Do what? She needs her drawing pad. Yes, it does. Thank you for the manners. <gasps> Sharon, it's official, guys. I'm done Christmas crafting. Woohoo! That's awesome. And you know what, Sharon? I think tomorrow night for the Patreon Zoom, I think you guys are going to get Aaron and Anna alone because I have to do my voiceover session to record more demo recordings. I couldn't do it tonight because of the neighbors. <laughs> they were so loud I couldn't record. So we rescheduled for tomorrow. So, um, yeah, I think Aaron and Anna are going to do the Zoom alone while I'm in voiceover. Nana, what's your favorite Christmas desserts? I'm not really a sweets person. Um, I'm like a salt person. So the things that I remember the most around the holidays are like uh, the olive and pickle tray, <laughs> the cheese and crackers. I like savory and salty. Um, the green bean casserole, the ham. And I do like ham for Christmas and Aaron doesn't. So we have to figure out uh, what we're going to do instead. We're going to find a compromise. Maybe we'll have two things. Maybe we'll have one thing that's not either thing that we're used to. What's the adult page you were talking about last night? It's our new spinoff page, Sarah. We, we created a separate page for Aaron and I to go on and chat with you guys and um, do stuff that's not necessarily all three of us, uh, kind of more from adult point of view, more behind the scenes. Like last night, we talked in the live about how we met. Not something that we would do on the AMC Princess Anna page, which is focused mostly on Anna and how she's doing with her condition and what her condition is and all of that. Um, so yeah, you can go follow that. It's it's uh, called Princess Anna's A-Team. So if you put that in the search bar on Facebook, it's only on Facebook right now. We'll try and expand it later, but uh, Princess Anna's A team. Look for that. And maybe somebody will be nice and post a link to it in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. Look at Jen. She is on it, man. <laughs> Jen is always on it. Thank you, Jen. Thanks. There's the link right there, guys. Find Jen's comment and click it. And it will take you to the page. And then you can click follow. And then if you want to hear, if you want to hear mine and Aaron's drivel. You don't have to. 
You can you can do just the AMC Princess Anna page too. That's fine. <clears throat> it's all good. I will not be offended. Okay, one more lime and then it's time. Yeah, yeah. One more lime and then it's time for the cilantro. Do you want me to chop it? Yeah, just bunch it up and just... Okay, I will do. <clears throat> yes, we are still in Florida, Alice. We are headed back um, at the end of February. Yes, Megan, it's absolutely okay to send Anna Christmas cards. That's just the, the presents. We just don't have the, the room because we got to head back up to Michigan and we only have a van, so... Everybody sent presents. <laughs> There'd be no room for Anna. Yeah. <laughs> we'd have to put the presents in the van and put Anna on the roof. You guys wouldn't like that. So don't make us do that. <laughs> no packages, please. But cards and letters, that's great. If things are like more disposable, you know, if it's something that you know is going to be gone by the time. We leave like that's probably okay, but I don't know. It's easier just to say nah, nothing. How do you look at merch? Go to our website, amcprincessanna.com. Go in the menu and click on shop. That's how you look at merch. Slice of ham, spread cheese, put a sweet pickle. You know, Mary, Anna and I made um, a salad like that. Uh, you remember that, Anna? We took, it was like a, a ham and, and pickle, dill pickle. It was basically chopped up ham, chopped up dill pickle, and cream cheese mixed up into like a salad. It was really good. Very, very tasty. Okay. All right. If I'm chopping. I'm talking. You got to talk. All right. What do we got here? I'm not going to use all of this. Uh, uh, Aaron can ride on the roof. Yes, I suppose I could. <laughs> put Anna in the, in the front seat and put Aaron on the roof. <laughs> Thanks, Marla. <laughs> uh, let's see. Marge just says, I want, I want some of what you're making. Me too. <laughs> it won't actually be ready until tomorrow. Right. We gotta, it's got to sit overnight. It's yeah. got to marinate. So tomorrow we'll be having taco. Which is always exciting. Taco night is always exciting. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so some people can't, uh, so the, click, the link wasn't working. Oh, the link wasn't working? Well, it's probably easiest, just, just like I said, go to Facebook, click on the search bar, and type in Princess Anna's A-Team. And it should come up in that list. You should, Or just click enter, and, and, it'll, and you'll get like a page of things, and it should be in the list to click on. You can also go back on a bunch of our posts from the last three days. I've been posting about it nonstop. So just go to the AMC Princess Anna page and look at some of the recent posts and you'll find, you'll see nice. the name of it there and you can <laughs> click on the name and it'll take you to the page too. So there's lots of ways to get there. I need to add it to the website. That's one place we don't have it yet. Okay. There is a links page on the website, but I haven't added it there. I'll do that. I'll do that when we get off the live. Totally forgot about that. But yeah, I would just go to one of our recent posts. That'd be the easiest way. Jim put it up there. Yeah, facebook.com slash Princess Anna's A team. You should be able to click that link, but but if not, just just go type it in. Just go do it. Just go find it. Search for it. It'll come up. Go find go go back on our page. Go to a post. Click it there. How much should I use this time? That's good. Or, That's good. Or just what you got the rest there. of this yeah yeah what are we gonna do with all this leftover cilantro I can make some soup or something cilantro soup yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what can we do with with a bunch of cilantro guys what can we do with it anybody know i might add more to it tomorrow 
Hi, Pearl from New Hampshire. Hi, Susan from Rhode Island. Mm. Oh, that smell is the best. It's good stuff. It's the best smell. I'll put more lime in it. Tracy wants to know if you can freeze it. Cilantro? The, oh. The cilantro or the pico? <laughs> Sadie says throw it in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I take it you don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you can freeze it in ice cubes for later use, but I'm not that ambitious. You can freeze it? I feel like it would get like mushy, but I guess it, I guess then you'd have to use it in things that it's okay for it to be mushy. Maria says you can make green goddess salad dressing. <gasps> make a vegetable soup with cilantro. You know mm. what, Nanny? I might do that. Plus, we've got the chicken broth in, in, in the fridge. Yeah, and I've been wanting to make one of my vegetable soups for a while now. Okay. I haven't made soup in a while. I might do that. I still won't use it all, but what time for Patreon tomorrow will Aaron, will Aaron be crafting? <laughs> it's it's the same time as always, 8 o'clock every other Saturday um, for Patreon Zoom. I don't know. Aaron might be crafting. Maybe he'll do um, craft with Anna. That would be a good way to, to, keep, to keep her, her occupied. <laughs> to keep her from leaving. <laughs> <laughs> he's afraid she's going to leave him alone. I'm on just, the it's Zoom. just going to be a lot of just and he's staring gonna be like, at each other. Like, hey. <laughs> 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 That's funny. Lynn says, oh, you're making me hungry. I'm sorry. I'm making myself hungry. We already ate. Chimchurri. I've never made it. Cilantro with eggs. We can make, we can make like a omelet. Or some yeah, cilantro there's some cilantro in there. on that. Mm-hmm. Make more ornaments. We need to make more ornaments. We also need to start working on a paper chain for the garland. So you guys could uh, work yeah. on that. We're going to do more. We're going to add on to that chain. All Just right. make a family family color chain for the tree. So, Cilantro is good in potato soup. Cilantro is great in beans and salads. Mm-hmm. Cilantro salad with olives, avocado, and limes. <laughs> classic guacamole. I like guacamole. Oh, yeah, we do. Ooh. We, Wait, have we don't have any tomatoes now. We'd have to get more yeah. tomatoes tomorrow. Hello. Onions. I have the onions. I have the avocado. I have cilantro. I don't have serrano peppers because I just used them up. And I don't have tomatoes. Mmm. I could, I could. Do you want to see how many avocados are in the fridge? I could throw a guac together right now. I've got the ingredients because we have more limes, right? We have several, two, two more limes. Two more limes? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. How many avocados do we have? Let's see. I think we have at least four. I can make a mini guac. I can make a little, I can make a two avocado guac. Five. Five avocados. We love avocados. We eat them like every day. Hello. Do you want to? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I can make a little little guac like right now. Might as well. We're sitting here. I don't know. We might. We might. Um, how long have we been out? So. Yeah. Pico. Yeah, make some guac. I, I'm going. To, I guess I'm going to, Maria. You want to go in your room and play? Yeah. Okay. Be careful. <laughs> See? I just Put some up. of the pico in the guac. Um, to, no, I'll just get some more tomatoes because uh, I don't add the tomatoes until the next day anyway. Because I, I, I let my guac sit overnight. I call it an avocado smear. Just do the avocado cilantro. Garlic lime. Yes. Oh, did you rinse them all? Yeah. I'm only going to use two. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, babe. 
She's a hoot. I thought you were going to play in your room. Yeah. You're going to get up? Yeah. All right. So I probably need like a little container then, honey, All right. for the, to put this in. Let's see. Is it going to be a smaller amount? Yeah, I'm, I'm only going to use maybe three of these tops. Oh, yeah, yeah, that should be good. That's perfect. <clears throat> I think I'll use three. Those will have to be dry, uh, dried really well before they go back in the fridge, though. And Let me finish up the pico. Yes. I'm gonna squeeze these lines out. Actually, I want to come see. And I need the press and seal, babe. I'm going to put some more salt in this, a little more salt. You keep your avocados in the refrigerator? Yes, absolutely, because uh, once they get ripe, if you put them in the refrigerator, it stops the ripening process or at least slows it down. And so um, they don't go bad. They don't go bad. So they'll last a lot longer if you put them in the fridge. You are going so I keep them on the counter until they start getting soft enough for me to push my thumb into. And then I stick them in the fridge and they last like another four or five days. Oh, thank you. Hey. You should do a cooking video. <laughs> it's not my favorite thing. Cooking yeah. videos. I like cooking. Cooking's my favorite thing. One of my favorite things. Cooking videos, not so much. Hey, watch me. Are you going in your room to play? No. No? What are you going to do? I'm coming here. You're coming here? Yeah. Now, see, this, I think I should have only added half of that one. That's what I'm saying. Let me get, I'm going to drain some of it for the, for the guac. I don't want it to be too soupy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm 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 busy right this second though. <clears throat> um, I need the. Uh, did you get the press and seal? It's right here. Thank you. Sorry. Because I'm I'm helping mommy right now. Sorry guys, I can't see what you're saying right this second because I gotta take care of this real quick. <clears throat> Anastasia, are you coming up here to sit? Yes. Bobby says, do you ever add some cottage cheese on your guacamole dip? No, I've never done that. I've never even heard of that. Okay, so there's the finished Pico product. Next. You finished the Pico? You know what? I'm gonna put a little more salt in here and stir it up before I pack it up. Love your bowls. Thank you. Do you need any more help? You can tell when it's ready because it smells amazing. Uh oh. You want to smell it yeah. before I pack it up? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Mm. Doesn't it smell amazing? It Christmassy. It does look it very does Christmassy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. What? Oh, I see. Got it. Got it, guys. Sorry about that. I was not paying attention. You can smell it. It's amazing. <laughs> it smells amazing all the way there, huh? Okay. Anna, honey, I'm busy. I can't look while I'm doing stuff. Okay, and the lid? There's a lid for it. <clears throat> Is that, that's not the right. Oh. All right.
right. It's pack not, it up. Pack it up. Pack it up. It's, it's not the right one. Pack it up. Pack it in. Pico's what? done. Hey, Anna, do you need to, I think you need to go get ready for bed now. I think you do. Can you give me those boosters? Because you're not listening very well right now. If you're going to start not listening very well, then you're definitely going to have to get ready for bed. Do you want to come sit up here and, and yeah. chat with us? Because it's already 1030. I've been waiting this whole time. Okay, come here. You can come, you can come talk to everybody for a few more minutes and then you can say goodnight and get ready for bed. Are you set? Go. Are, you, are, you make, are you making the guac thing now? Yes, I'm going to make some guac. So we have some guac for our tacos tomorrow. Does Anna have a favorite Christmas sweater or dress? No. No. No, thanks. So. Not really. Yeah, we don't go anywhere lately for Christmas because, um, hey, you hear me talking? Yes. We don't go anywhere uh, for Christmas because, you know, COVID. So there's no reason to get any kind of dress or... Um, here, are you going to sit over here? No. You're going to go to your room? No. I'm going to sit over here. Okay. Great. But Aaron's pushing into me too much. Aaron is, wants you to scoot this way so that you're in the right spot. Thank you. Paula says, hello, Anna. Anna is getting hello. too tired for a movie, I think. I'm not. I'm not I, I mean, I'm not getting too tired. You're getting too what? Antsy no. for a movie? No. You're getting too bored for a movie? <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Just pop it right out. What are you saying, babe? Uh, let's see. We got Ruby it. says, uh, I love Pico. Ruby's we love Pico, too. Roz, uh, Roz says, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Ooh, what is your favorite Christmas movie? That's a good question. What is yours? Um, we'll, we'll, we'll do that on a, th on a three team. Thing. On three team? Okay, and then we can ask Aaron, them what their Aaron favorite first. Christmas movie is. Uh, I like A Christmas Story. Yeah? yeah? What about you, Anna? Me, Nightmare Before Christmas. Really? Mm -hmm. I think my favorite Christmas movie is probably Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Hmm. What about you guys? Favorite Christmas movies? Elf. I hear that one from a lot of people. Elf. Cilantro is good in Asian food like fried rice. Yeah. Sue says Christmas vacation. Christmas vacation. Somebody else says elf. Jennifer. Jennifer. I can't read. <laughs> They're going too fast. Yeah, it does yeah. go fast. Home alone. Home Alone is a good one. Grinch. The Grinch? Yeah. You like Mir the Grinch movie, right? Yeah. Miracle on, four, on 34th, 34th Street. That's, that's, a, that's a classic. A classic. Yeah. yeah. Uh, another good classic is it's Wonderful a, Life. It's a Wonderful Life. I was just going to say that. <laughs> Frosty the Snowman. Frosty the Snowman. <laughs> Home Alone, the Santa Claus. The Santa Claus? Oh, we saw that one. Yeah. Yeah. Home Alone, Christmas with Cranks. I've never seen that one. Have you seen that one? No, I've not. Mm -hmm. Are you turning that into a soup? No. Just cutting up the. Avocados Annie. A bit. Annie? Is that a Christmas movie? I guess we so have that. You. You've seen it? Yeah. K. Hey. Suzanne says K. Hey. Polar Express. Can, 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 can you delete Suzanne? She just said the letter K. <laughs> what? What's wrong with her saying K? She's like, it's like the short version of okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just K. Okay. There's nothing wrong with it. Little Drummer Boy says Peggy. Little Drummer Boy. I don't think I've seen that yeah. one. Ellie says White Christmas, a classic. I think I did see that once. Polar Express. Polar Express. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. I like that. Yeah. Oh, Scrooge. That was a good movie. That was funny. The Fourth Wise Man. The Grinch Who Stole Christmas. Christmas. Polar Express. Christmas is pranks. 
you guys see, see the how dark these are on the outside? And because I put them in the fridge, they look great on the inside. Otherwise, they would have turned days ago. Silver bells, someone says. White Christmas. Christmas cottage. Christmas cottage. Yeah, scourge. The holiday. Holiday Inn. The Holiday Inn. Can you move your arm? Nope. I'm getting an avocado <laughs> out of here. You're going to have to wait patiently for me to get done. Sorry. I both. Debbie, Debbie says <laughs> no, nothing. Debbie says nothing. Sorry, Debbie. Oh, no. We're blurry. <gasps> Hello. Hello, I'm. There we go. I fixed it. Christmas Carol. I miss the little drummer boy, but they haven't shown it in years. Wait, Christmas. Chronicles of Christmas. Chronicles of Ooh. Christmas. Yeah. Is that like Chronicles of Narnia? Like Christmas? <laughs> okay, so we've got guac and lime juice so far. I like my guacamole chunky. What do you guys do? Do you do it like really smooth? Because I don't I don't I like mine with chunks. But everybody likes it different. But sometimes you go to the a restaurant. Excuse me. Sometimes you go to a restaurant and get like ready-made guacamole, you know how they make it at the side of the table? And they like almost like whisk it <laughs> and they make it really, really smooth and creamy. Four, so someone says four Christmases. Not my favorite. Muppets Carol. Oh, no. it says. Now oh, we're talking about guacamole. And we ask people if they like it chunky or smooth. Chunks, chunks. No chunks. Some, some onion. Randa says no chunks. No chunks. I use a fork to smash it. Yeah. That's pretty common. Onion again. Onion again. Yep. Put some onion in the guac. Start crying. What? <laughs> You're start crying. You start crying again? No. I think I'm going to start crying. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing we're missing is the pepper, the serrano pepper. I guess it'll just be a, 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 not, a not peppery yeah. guacamole. That's fine. And then tomorrow we can add some tomatoes. Or like other people said, we could just add some pico to it. Because you don't need too many tomatoes. It's true. And then we'll get a little bit of serrano pepper in there, there too. There you go. That's probably the best idea. You guys are so smart. That's well, also right. you have some of the juice from the serranos in here. Yeah, that's true. So it might have a little bit of a kick. Maybe just a tiny bit. No, no, no. Now we're getting mixed. We're getting mixed. Yeah, because pe some people are saying Christmas movies and some people or are saying, saying guacamole. I can't make guacamole right now because there's no good avocados this time of year here in Oregon. Oh, that's a bummer. I can understand that, though. It's not in season. It's hard to get good stuff. I heard sucking on a toothpick helps the tears from chopping an onion. That's the mm. first time I've heard that one. People are being so rude. Who's being rude? Don't be rude, people. We don't come here to be rude to each other. I don't like that. That's how people get blocked off of the page because it's not fun for anyone. <laughs> Deborah says the night before guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> like the night before Christmas, but the night before guacamole. Tomorrow, are you getting your tree? Mary, we have uh, an artificial 10 foot tree that we're going to put up. And I think Aaron and I will probably work on it together tonight. Uh, but I think Anna's going to go to bed after we no. get off the live. Yes, baby. No, I'm not tired. Yeah, kids always say they're not tired. <laughs> Kids always say they're not tired, but um, yeah, she's got to go to bed. Jen, I'm looking. I'm Jen, looking. Jen, Jen Clifton says block somebody. Yeah, I can't keep. It's hard to keep up with the with the comments. So I'm doing my best, guys. They go by really fast, so it's hard. It's really difficult to catch uh, the person that you're talking about. 
Run the onion under cold water. It's not bothering me. Is it bothering you? Uh, when I was been a little bit too close, yeah. Is it bothering your eyes, Anna? Yeah. No. No. Someone else said wear swim goggles again. Yeah. Almost done with the guacamole, and then we're gonna say good night. Put Miss Anna to bed. No, baby. Too late. We can do it tomorrow, though. We've got time tomorrow. What's the date? Friday. Friday is movie night. Yes, but we can do it on Saturday. We've done it before. No. I want to do it on today. You want to do it on today? Yes. Please. My eyes are fine. I can't even smell it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. I'm glad it's not affecting you guys. She's so tired. I know, Kimberly. She's definitely. No, please. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, but you are definitely tired. You're definitely tired. You need to go brush your teeth. Hey, can I watch the video when I'm stretching? Watch a video while you're stretching? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about it after the live. Please share what a voiceover is. A voiceover is um, anytime you hear someone's I'm voice. Go, now. go get ready. You want to go get ready for bed? Uh, anytime you, I can I can finish this up if you want to do teeth and and I'll, I'll pop, pop and then when you guys get back we can say good night to everybody. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. Pop, and I'll tell them what voiceover is. Into her crash pad. What? She just went down into her crash pad. Can you see her? Where is she? There she is, flopping around on her crash pad. Hold on, I'll turn you guys. Um, so voiceover is any time you hear someone's voice but you don't see them. So like on radio or um, animated movies, um, you know, anything like that, that's voiceover work. The, the voices that you hear, those are voiceover artists who do that work. So they're basically actors, but you just don't see their face. You see whatever, you know, production wants you to see and you hear them. Yes, he is so good with her. Sorry, I missed, I'll have to go back and see whatever was going on because I totally missed it. It's, it's really hard to catch. Like we only see like one comment every 30. So what do you do voiceovers for? Well, I'm going to be doing voiceovers for income for a job. So I've been working at it for a while and I'm putting together a demo right now. And um, then I will be finding an agency and then doing auditions and if i get hired then i get paid for it so it's just another another source of income to go with the ones i already you know have, have been working on um i work a lot i work pretty much all day every day uh and this is this is part of it my voiceover work is part of it so i'm excited for it to turn from you know, I've been student for a while and I've been learning and I've been working really hard to get good at what I'm doing. Uh, voiceover for like cartoons. That is a form of voiceover, Heather, but right now my voiceover work is more uh, commercial. So it'd be like radio commercials, television commercials, um, things like that. That's just kind of my what I'm really good at. Aaron has been has been practicing the uh, animated like cartoon voiceover and he's really good at that so he may be doing that at some point so um what else any other questions about voiceover i can we shared a demo last night i can share you guys like a clip real quick of what it sounds like okay so anyway let me finish this guacamole real quick so i can get this done so we've got the avocado the onion um, I gotta add some cilantro. I gotta add some salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. How do you keep it from turning brown? I'm gonna show you, Denise. It is a, it is a trademark secret. No, it's actually not, but it works really well. Some salt and pepper. Not that much salt. Mix it up. 
Okay, and I'm going to chop some cilantro real quick. Anna is a little ray of sunshine that could brighten the darkest days. She definitely, I, I was, uh, I posted actually on the um, spinoff page earlier because I was laying in the bedroom after showering and Aaron and Anna were out here and I just heard them just gleefully, like joyfully and boisterously laughing together. Um, I don't know exactly what was going on, but they were both just like cracking up with each other and it just sounded so awesome and so loving and it just made, made me smile. I love it. Put a bit of vinegar in it. I don't do that. I do not put vinegar in it. Um, but my guacamole never turns brown. And I actually keep it for a couple of days. The trick is to keep the air off of it. You got to keep the oxygen away from it. That's how you keep it from going brown. And that's where the press and seal comes in handy. You missed the pico? Oh, it's already in the fridge. But you can watch the live back later. It was beautiful, beautiful pico. I just got a top fan badge. <laughs> Congratulations. It's funny. People think that we do that. We actually don't have anything to do with that. That's like an automatic Facebook thing. Um, but I think it has something to do with how much you interact with posts and how much you're on the page or something like that, I think. I don't know. Okay, cilantro in. This is a very small batch of guac. This is probably at least half of the guacamole that I normally make. So this is what I do. So this is this is what's going in the fridge tonight. So it's avocado, onion, lime juice, uh, cilantro. Uh, normally I put some serrano pepper in it, but I used it up in the pico earlier. So what I do at this point, now that I have it done, is I smooth it out. The big thing is get it all flat in the container so that there's no spaces so that all the space is taken up with the guac so there's no air bubbles in it and so your sides are clean i'll show you in a second here so i smooth it all down like that and then i'm actually going to take paper towel and i'm going to wipe um, the sides Oh gosh, sorry guys, it's going blurry. I'm going to wipe the sides off so there's no guac. Hold on, try and fix it. The camera doesn't like, the camera doesn't like that. Wipe the sides off so they're clear so that the press and seal can stick to it because it won't stick to it if there's food on it. So now you see it's all pushed down and the sides are all clear. And then, uh-oh. There it is. Hold on. I gotta get the press and seal. Thank you, Yvonne. We have all the shirts in the merch store now. If you're interested in our shirts, definitely go check out the merch, the new merch store. Just launched yesterday to everyone. Oh gosh, no hair. No hair in the guacamole. I'm getting a new piece. My hair just got stuck in there. Okay, so with the press and seal, you don't just put it over the top. You have to push it down onto the guacamole and fill in all that space. Hi, guys. How are you? Teeth brushed? Teeth are brushed. Yay. Okay, so like this. Do you see how it, it's pressed all the way up against the guac? So... It makes a seal and you push all the air bubbles out. Kind of like when you put your screen, your screen protector on your phone and you push all the bubbles out, you do that to the guacamole. And then I even go a step further and I push my fingers down around the edges and pull it away from the edges at the top. 
just to get that press and seal in there really well. It's okay. Don't move it because it's because it's doing finicky things with oh. the um, focusing. It's good. Thank you. And so it looks like this now. Can you see how it's, I've pushed it down around the edges like that. And so once I've done that, then I seal the press and seal around the sides and make sure it's completely sealed down. And I know this seems like a lot and people are going to say, you don't have to do that. Just put the pit in there. Just do this and that and the other. This has always worked for me without fail. Not a single, single little speck of brown will be on this guacamole tomorrow. It'll be super bright and vibrant green when I go pull this off tomorrow. And so then where's the lid, honey? Then you put your airtight lid over the top of this. And um, that's it. Stick it in the fridge. You stick it in the fridge. And... <laughs> so the next day, I don't put my tomatoes in the night before because it ruins the flavor, I found. So I keep it like this overnight. And then the next day when we're ready to eat it, pull the press and seal off. It'll be nice and vibrant green. And throw in your diced tomatoes. We're going to throw in a couple scoops of the pico that we made. And it'll be ready to go. And then you can do the same thing um, the next day when if you don't eat it all. You can smash it down again, put your press and seal on again, and it'll it'll stay green for another whole day. Into the third day, then it starts getting kind of like meh, like you can't really keep guac into the third day. But yes, thanks for the lid. It's not just regular plastic wrap because regular plastic wrap doesn't doesn't suction like that. It has to be press and seal because it's like it's like a almost like a adhesive, like it sticks to the to the glass or the plastic but it, it sticks better to glass than plastic so we've got a lime left we've got a half a bowl of cilantro left we've got part of a onion left all right thank you darling thank you so much we're gonna say good night to you guys you ready to come say good night anastasia <laughs> she's so done okay Come up here. Come up here and say good night, please. Okay, Come say good night. Move the stuff out of the way so we can say good night as a family. You ready? Yeah. We can move that out of. Oh, oh hey, yeah. There we go. I I have a thing to do. What thing? I'll I'll sing. Hey everybody. Yes. You sing do to do to, and you sing do do. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can you move my legs? You ready? Yeah. Hey, everybody. Do 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 do. do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> I think you were supposed to get the last do do. Oh, the last two. I Let's try it. again. Hey, everybody. Do 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 do. Do do. There we go. And then <laughs> bye, everybody. Do 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 do. Do do. Yay! <laughs> Good night, guys. Thank you. Bye. Sorry for the the um the rude people that popped in. Hopefully, I took care of a couple of them. I'll have to go back and look. Um, Good night, everybody. If you're not on our spinoff page and you want to hear more from just Aaron and I about behind the scenes and adult things, go find it. It's Princess Anna's A-Team. I've been posting about it for days. So look at our posts on the AMC Princess Anna page and you'll find links to it in the content of the posts. Um, and if you haven't checked out the merch, please go do that. Go to amcprincessanna.com. You can click on the shop button and check out our merch. And while you're there, you can read the facts page and you can read the about page and you can learn all about us and all about Aaron and all about our family and all that good stuff. So have a good night. We love you. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. Mwah.